the project is called the Technicolor Dream Tree Project, but it's part of a bigger exhibition that we're having here at Highfield Hall that's called Portals and Passageways. Primarily, uh, these artworks are on the fringes of what is the Highfield property connecting to the B.B. Woods, the 400 acres of public woodland that surrounds this beautiful house. The Technicolor trees are designed to alert you as you drive up Highfield Hall that there's something interesting going on this summer and they've been so popular so I think that that has been successful. When you get up to Highfield Hall and you come on in, we can give you your booklet which shows you all the other environmental artworks that we have on display. They were created by regional and local artists as part of an exhibition that has been going on all summer. It was supposed to end at the beginning of September, but it's been so popular that we're going to keep it on through October 31st when we close for the season. We were really pleased uh, when I put the call out for artists, knitters and crocheters to work on the project. I didn't know who I would hear from or how it would go. And I'm really pleased to say that along with individual um, knitters and crocheters, we did end up with some community groups uh, that wanted to be involved and one of which is the ladies from Emerson House who each took on uh, individual trees in a cluster and uh, as you can see they, they really did a beautiful job. The knitters from the Woods Hole Library Knitting Group did a series of uh, trees for the bomb. And, well we call it a yarn bomb but anyway that's a, that's a historical term for this kind of thing. Anyway. So I'm uh, really pleased about that. Not everyone who was involved in the project uh, came to us in the beginning. After the Technicolor trees first went up, we had some additions. One of the most interesting ones was by a woman who summers here, but who lives in Austria. And she took a whole new point of view on her Technicolor tree. As you can see, she's got the reindeer and the snowflakes and a lot of Nordic um, imagery unlike most of them which are which are also very beautiful but you know more colorful and striped so we are thrilled to have this addition to the exhibition well this is this has really been a fun exhibition season for us but we also have music events culinary events uh, very vibrant open houses and things that occur all through the fall and then again in the spring